Hey, hey, everyone, this is Kristen Ostrander, and you are listening to the Amazon Files podcast brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host. Kristen Ostrander, and I am so excited today to talk about Amazon Prime Day, right? We've all heard of Amazon Prime Day. If you haven't, it's like Black Friday in the middle of the summer. And this year, Amazon is doing it not one, but two whole days. So we are just going to jump right into how you can prepare to maximize your profits on Prime Day. Why? Because it's like Black Friday in the summer. Amazon is trying to get new Prime members in. That That's their goal. Their goal of Prime Day is not necessarily to sell off a bunch of inventory. Their goal is to get more people to become Amazon Prime members. And they do a Prime drive and they show all these benefits and they give away a bunch of stuff and they drive a lot of traffic to the Amazon website because they want people to become Amazon Prime members. And if so, they get more money from them and they they tout all the benefits and they have everything. Hey, try Prime free for 30 days and you get all these deals. You can get the same deals as other people. And so it is a very big membership drive for them, but it's also great for us because they do so many deals on Prime items that they draw all kinds of, of people in. And I want you to maximize your profits on Prime Day. There's a few things you can do right now to make sure that you are prepared. And so before we get into that, there's something else that you need to be prepared for. Just like I said, Prime Day is very similar to Black Friday. Black Friday is when it is in the holiday season. And if you want to learn how to do wholesale for the holidays, if this is your first time around on Amazon and you've never experienced the holidays, you for sure need to come to this course, this class. I'm teaching a live class called Wholesale for the Holidays. And if you've never experienced uh, Q4, uh, the holiday season, selling season, um, you are in for a wild ride, but you need to be prepared and, I, and you have to prepare now. So that's why we're talking about it now, because it's going to be July now, and this is when we prepare for Q4. I'm doing all my Q4 orders, all my holiday. Halloween is already ordered and in progress, but there's still time for you to prepare for all of these holidays. I am going to teach you what to sell, where to get it, how to get it in to Amazon, um, all the holiday action calendar to make sure you're selling and sending in all of your items and when so that they're ranking for holidays so that you've got all of the best holiday sales and wholesale. Why? Because these days we cannot wait for retail arbitrage. We can't. We don't have time to wait for the stuff to hit the shelves and then get it and list it and get it into Amazon and still get it to rank. And then you'll never be able to buy more. You only have access to what's there. So here's the deal. Get ready with wholesale. Get ready. This class is for you if you want to maximize your profits for the wholesale. Wholesale for the holidays. It's a live class. You'll be able to answer questions at the end of the class. You get to keep the material, all the downloads, all the templates, the holiday action calendar, everything. Um, With 153 million Amazon Prime members and more by the holiday season because of Prime Day that's coming up and they're doing a membership drive, more people are turning to Amazon for their holiday season. They don't want to go out in weather. They don't want to, you know, it's a holiday rush. They want to just order stuff online and make sure that it comes in time. That's where you come in. Prepare for Q4. So come to the live class. It is going to be on July 12th at 7 p.m. And we are going to go through the material. You're going to keep all the materials and ask questions. And it's going to be awesome. And you will be prepared for uh, ordering holiday products for the season and and kind of hit the ground running. So mommyincome.com forward slash holidays is how you're going to register for this class. And guess what? If you are an Amazon uh, Hub member, you are coming to the class for free. This is part of your membership. So thank you, Hub members. You get to come to the Wholesale for the Holidays class for free. And and we're glad to see you there. But if you are not a member, then you can um, go to mommyincome.com forward slash holidays and you can register for the live class. I only teach live classes like a couple times a year outside of the membership. And so this is kind of a rare occasion. I'd love to be able to chat with you guys, answer your questions about preparing for Q4, preparing for the holiday season that's fast approaching. I know we're all pools and beaches right now, but the reality is, is that Q4 is coming and we need to be prepared for that if we want to maximize, especially this year with record record-breaking prime members. There's millions of them in the U.S. alone. So even if you're outside of the U.S., there's millions worldwide that you can access. Okay, let's talk about Prime Day because it's kind of similar to preparing for the holidays, except for if you're not preparing for Prime Day right now, there's lots of things you can do anyway, even if you can't, don't have a dollar left to spend. So um, let's see. 
just for July, there's so many different promotions that all of the retailers are doing. So the things that you can do to prepare for Prime Day, first of all, you need to know why. Why is this important? Why do you need to do this? This is not another gimmick or nothing else. It is just simply minding your business, right? You're minding your business. I want you to mind your business. And with over 153 million Prime members globally, you're going to take advantage of Prime Day. What you're going to do first and foremost to get prepared is to take a look at your listings, making sure that your prices are when, you, when it comes to Prime Day, the days before Prime Day. I want you to increase your prices. Now, most people are like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Increase your prices the day before because what, or a couple of days before, because what happens is on prime day, then you can change your price back to the original price. And all of a sudden it seems like a deal, or you can put your price up high and you can run a sale on it on sale, 10% off certain days on that. Or you just keep your prices higher because people are going to be buying things and there are the traffic is already there. So if you're already selling items that people are looking for anyway, the traffic is already there. They're going to say, oh, I'm looking for prime deals, but I'm also looking for this, this, and this, add to cart, add to cart. This is how people shop. You guys shop this way, right? Like, oh, I needed to order a contact solution, but I also want to buy this, you know, tablet that's on sale. So whatever it is, get it, get your listings prepared, optimize your listings, go through them. What do your images look like? Are they all there? Are your bullet points present? This can be like a, uh, it's like a checkpoint system for like used cars or something like go through a checkpoint just make sure that your listings are showing on amazon that you can see them that the pictures are translating well uh, any update that you need to make make it soon or make sure and refine your keywords limit your keywords to only exactly in the search terms what is going to lead people to a sale optimize your listings by adding additional pictures even adding one additional picture can help boost a listing adding a, some extra bullet points removing things that don't matter, whatever it is, give your listing a little bit of a facelift about a week before, which is about right soon. Like you got about a week. Okay. And then double check your pricing and increase it a few days ahead of time, because then you can lower it if you need to during prime day. And it looks like a sale, or it looks like this price was lowered recently, low prices, new price, things like that. Uh, and you can lower it to be the lowest price on that day but it drives traffic to just do any changes to your listing at all it wakes up the algorithm so do that because it kicks it back in and make sure that it's active and live and updated um, amazon is bringing the traffic and keep in stock in stock in stock okay in stock after they listen to this podcast go get more stock and make sure it's in transit if you're doing arbitrage ship it in asap you can't sell what's not sitting there so, I mean, shocker, right? But <laughs> like send in your inventory, send in more inventory. If you have wholesale orders and you can, you have less than a week lead time, you have a fast turnaround time, stock some of those products, look at them. Now, if you feel like you're overstocked and you can't afford to buy any more inventory right now, then clean up your inventory, go and make a tweak, go make a change, update the picture. Just make sure that it's looking fresh. Use Canva and freshen up your picture. There are things you can do to increase sales on a regular basis. It's all about what kind of effort do you wanna put in? Okay, so that's how you prepare your current inventory for Prime Day. But if you're in the market, and I'll tell you right now, you all know that I am a wholesale bundle queen and I don't often advocate for arbitrage. However, this year there seems to be an overabundance of clearance everywhere already of all the summer stuff. Like I just went to Target yesterday because I had to go, you know, you have to go to Target. You don't have to, you know, when you're there and you're going there for one thing, who goes to Target for one thing and comes out with a cart full? Um, yeah, that's me. So yeah, um, I'm, that's just my confession. This is my confession. I went to Target and got a whole cartload of stuff when I really went for one, literally one thing I could walk in it, get the shelf, come out, you know, like most men shop, right? <laughs> this is stuff I have to only get at Target because it's, it's a long story. I usually order online on their website. I ran out. I didn't really realize I ran out because I thought I had two more packages. I did not. So I actually had to go to the store and buy this item while my online order is is in transit. So anyway, it was desperation. It's a daily item. So, but yes, of course I go into Target and see all this. That was a long way around to say, 
clearance is happening everywhere. So if you are the arbitrage kind, Prime Day is a great way to take advantage of stuff that people are still buying nationwide, but for some reason it's already on clearance. Garden hoses, insect control items, um, expandable hoses, nozzles, uh, citronella candles, um, anything bug, uh, bug insect control related. I mean, I know, yes, there are, there are um, hazmat things like that, but you can get around hazmat, no big deal. Um, you just have to have the right applications and stuff like that. But the, like everything, yard, patio, deck, pool, uh, lanterns for insects, uh, tools, decor, plant markers, plant stands, plant baskets, weed and feed. You guys, all of this stuff, people are still buying and throughout the summer. And remember that summer is longer. I mean, the, the days and the weather is different uh, throughout the country as well. So what might be clearancing for you because the season is short and ending is not for everyone else. So go grab those items and get them shipped in because these are the things people are looking for in the month of July. That means fast sales. Fast and easy sales mean you have more capital because you just made more profit to invest in the holiday season. Like we just talked about, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays, register for the live class. So if you're flipping fast for Prime Day, you can get all of that capital by the end of the month to flip it into wholesale for the holidays. So this is why we want to take advantage of Prime Day because it gives us instantly more money to spend for the holiday season because we're going to make fast, quick profit right now. But only if you sell the stuff immediately, right? Other things, decorative patio lights, patio furniture, patio furniture accessories. Y'all, at Target yesterday, they had indoor-outdoor pillows for the patio for $4.97. These are normally $29.99. $5 like patio like pillows. So create a listing and sell some patio pillows because people are still buying those. Indoor outdoor rugs were on 70% off. Like literally I bought a couple for myself, not for resale, but you guys can buy them from resale. <laughs> Send them in. <laughs> Sun protection. This is what we buy for Prime Day. Stock this stuff today, y'all. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Just go see what's out there. Um, Because right now it's, it's, you know, it's, we only got a couple of weeks. So you've got to do it fast and you're wholesale and things like that. Another great place to flip stuff is like from the dollar store. I mean, a lot of people flip arbitrage stuff from the dollar store all the time on Amazon and there's, they've got cute things and they have things. I mean, are they the highest quality? No, but they'll do in a pinch, you know, a sun protection, hats, sunglasses, towels, pool accessories, all the pool accessories are all on sale at Target and probably Walmart and everywhere else. Why? Because they're doing clearance. Why are they doing clearance? Because they're getting ready for back to school, which is another thing. Back to school is already being set up. They put all the summer stuff all the way over into the far aisles. This is what they do at our Target anyways. All the stuff they push over there and then they bring in all the new stuff. So all of the back to school stuff has to be set, they told me by this Friday. Because I asked the workers, I'm like, oh, when's all this gonna be fully set up? I wanna see all the backpacks. And they're like, oh, we're supposed to be set up by Friday. So they're they're ready. Like end of the month, they have to be set up, right? So um, bathing suits, sandals, water bottles, anything to beat the heat. I will tell you that bathing suits, once they leave our stores here in Michigan, they don't come back again until like March or February when people start thinking about spring again. Like it's really hard to find a bathing suit around here, even in like September. They're all gone. There's, there's none on the shelf. We have to turn to Amazon. So thank you for buying stuff from Target and flipping it on Amazon so I can buy bathing suits in November. <laughs> Back to school, okay? These are things to sell for Prime Day. Back to school. People are looking for deals and these are the things they're going to be shopping for. Um, elementary, college, high school, sporting equipment for fall. The sporting equipment for fall. This stuff starts soon. Like football practice starts in July. You know, sandals, uh, lunch boxes, uh, backpacks, electronics. Electronics are huge for back to school and also for Prime Day. Headphones, chargers, laptop, tablets, cases for these things, make a case bundle. Um, you can make a couple of quick retail arbitrage bundles. If you have your bundle brand already, you don't have to have anything special. You could do arbitrage if they've got a whole bunch of sales or if they got something that's on clearance. Why not? Accessories to go with computers. Um, wireless mice, um, silent mice varieties. I didn't even know they made those. I didn't even know they made like silent mouses or computer mouses i know i said mouses i meant mice but you know what i mean um dual monitor stands that's another thing that that is a very popular these days is that everyone's getting like multiple monitors and they're gaming and they're zooming and they're doing all these things and uh dual monitor stands are very popular webcams with microphones privacy covers um maureen recently bought on vacation she was on vacation at the beach and she's working on her laptop i know 
she didn't have to work on her laptop, but she wanted to. She's like, whatever, it's fine. She got like a laptop tent that literally like helps to beat the heat, but also like provides the shade so you can still work and see your thing. Um, privacy covers, things like that. Um, home goods, outdoor, water resistant, boating, camping, fishing, hiking parts and accessories for all of these things. This is what people do all summer. And just because the summer feels like it winds down after 4th of July, it is in full swing. Remember in the state of Michigan, we don't go back to school until after Labor Day. Most districts, unless it's a private school or something else, like up here because it's still just summer to where a lot of times the folks in the South, they get out in May and they go back in August. So we get out in June and go back in September. So it's different everywhere, which means the season can be extended for you as a seller, because while some people are back to school in August, I'm like, don't talk to me about school until September 1st, because this is still summer. Do not infringe upon my summer, right? So that's what I mean. I mean, buy the stuff that's selling right now for the fast flips so that you can build that capital for the holiday season. That's what Prime Day is to me. Prime Day is to me is um, optimizing my listing so my regular items sell continuously and making sure that I have stock of those items. You can't sell what's not there. So making sure you have the stock and then selling the season that we're in so that you can get the faster sales so that you can build up that money and that capital profits to spend on Q4, which is usually triple the amount we make in July, we make in December or November. November is our biggest month of the year, not December. November is huge, absolutely huge for us. It's the biggest month of the year and has been for, I wanna say eight years running. November is big. Um, and so, and we have a really good uh, October, November. Um, December's great too, it's Q4, you know, we love it, but November is definitely the month. And so um, just focusing on those things. We, we like to build our capital now so that we can, we can afford the extra inventory for Q4 because that traffic is just so dominant that time of year. So take advantage of Prime Day, optimize your listings, look at your pictures, update or add images. People are shopping with their eyes first. Look at your title, make sure it is exactly what you're selling, no keyword stuffing, just be direct about it. Check your prices and increase them because you can lower them on Prime Day if you must, but sometimes the increased traffic will just get you increased traffic on your item and you'll get a higher price. Increased traffic means increased demand and you have the supply. So go up on price a little bit. People do this with Black Friday all the time. Like, oh, it's Black Friday. All my prices are going up by 10% because you think, oh my gosh, everyone wants a deal on Black Friday. But what you don't realize is they're looking for the deals and they might get a deal on this, but they're still gonna buy their other stuff. And that's the stuff that doesn't have a deal on it. It's actually either regular price or a little bit higher. But in the frenzy of getting and saving, they're willing to spend a little extra. So do that, get ready for Prime Day. Again, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays. That is going to be the live class I'm teaching on July 12th, um, wholesale for the holidays. Know what to sell for the holidays, where to get it, how to get it, when to send it in to maximize all of your profits. That is what the class is all about. And I would love to see you there, mommyincome.com forward slash holidays. See you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.